It's me, Cowboy Ken Salazar. I made this little film to let you peasants know that since I took over as Secretary of the Interior, we have had a bumper crop of workers killed in mining and oil drilling disasters. It seems like the wild, wild west, don't it? We got us a whole bunch of robber barons at companies like BP and Massey Energy paying no damn attention to worker safety or other laws. It's just like the olden days when workers were expendable and the barons made money hand over fist. Now some may say we Washington elites went way overboard with our bizarre and kinky corporate deregulation fetish. To that I would reply that the mining and oil drilling companies have been killing workers since there have been mining and oil drilling companies. It's a long-standing American tradition. Besides, OSHA is supposed to deal with work air safety issues. How come nobody is busting David Michaels chops, he's in charge of OSHA. I wish the damn press would call David Michaels about these disasters for a change. I've been doing my part by giving the corporation's sweetheart giveaway deals on their exploitation of public lands just like my predecessors always did. It ain't my fault, but there were a couple of problems at the Minerals Management Service and I've gone so far as to break the MMS into two parts. From now on only those working in the collection and distribution of revenues part of that agency will be able to snort cocaine and have sex with oil industry employees. The workers in the regulatory end will have to fund their sex and drugs elsewhere. If anyone has a problem with that reasonable limitation over at the MMS, I suggest they call their boss Liz Birnbaum. She's supposed to be handling that agency's affairs, not me. Anywho, my boss in the Oval Orifice has made it clear that BP is responsible for the oil drilling disaster, there ain't gonna be no blame shifting on his watch. Besides, by the time you peasants figure out how much this disaster is gonna cost the taxpayers, we all will be long out of office and you peasants will blame the next administration anyway.